probably heard of autism, but did you know that the disorder is just one of five similar neurological conditions? When autism is combined with these conditions, the group is known collectively as Pervasive Developmental Disorder, or PDD. Occasionally, three of the five conditions may also be referred to as Autism Spectrum Disorder. All PDDs involve delays in the development of basic skills, including socialization, communication, and imagination. The most common PDD is autism. As many as 1 in 90 to 150 children, mostly boys, have this disorder. Children with autism experience problems with social functioning, difficulty speaking and communicating, and obsessions with repetitive action, activity, or motion. About 75% of autistic children also have some form of intellectual deficit, though it is not entirely clear whether these are all true deficits or whether some are due to lack of cooperation while taking intelligence tests. Children with the second most common PDD, Asperger's syndrome, also have trouble with social interaction and may be intrigued by repetition. Asperger's is not usually diagnosed until the preschool years, but unlike autistic children, those with Asperger's tend to have average or above average intelligence. Their language skills are also typically above what one would expect for their age. Asperger's children also usually hit their developmental milestones like walking and talking on time. Another PDD, Childhood Disintegrative Disorder, or CDD, is extremely rare, and children who have it usually begin developing normally, but then, at a later point, the CDD child will begin to lose many of the social and physical skills that had already developed. Some children with CDD will also permanently lose control of their bowel and bladder function. Another rare PDD, Rett Syndrome, is the only one of the five disorders that occurs almost exclusively in girls. Rett syndrome sufferers tend to experience physical problems similar to autism, like difficulty walking, weak muscle tone, and even seizures. But although children with Rett syndrome may have problems with mental retardation, many can speak and interact socially. The final type of PDD is Pervasive Developmental Disorder Not Otherwise Specified, or PDD-NOS. Children with PDD-NOS may exhibit any, but not all, of the symptoms of classic autism as defined by experts. More than any of the other four, this disorder is individual to the child with the problem. In other words, patients do show some of the signs of autism, but do not necessarily meet the diagnostic criteria for one specific disorder. For example, a PDD-NOS child may exhibit stalled growth in social interaction, but might have little difficulty in using language. But when a child is diagnosed with any of the five pervasive developmental disorders, the experience is harrowing and confusing for the family. For this reason, seek support from a strong medical and therapeutic team to teach and treat your child. <laughs>